Hi and welcome back to our channel. This week I have actually done something what I was planning to do for years. I did cook sour roast and not one, I did cook two sour roasts. As you probably know, sour roast is a German speciality, but it's also a very regional speciality and therefore there are many different ways of preparing it and serving it. In this video, I would like to focus on two very specific ones. One that comes from Baden and the other one comes from Rheinland. To make this sour roast, I used beef in Rheinland. I know that they also used horse, but nowadays it's not that common. Those are the two incredible sour roasts that I cooked this week. To make those, I used two different parts of beef. The one that you can see on the screen is the shoulder part and the other one is chuck roll. And both of them are pretty small, under one kilo. I'm gonna start this video with a Sauerbraten from Baden. And this is for all of you who liked really tart food. And I'm saying that because it is really sour. To make this one, I first prepared a marinade that was hot. I added some red wine vinegar and of course wine. The best choice is the Spät Burgunder that comes from Baden. If you don't have this one, any dry red wine would do. The marinade contains also some spices. The sour roast in Baden is prepared with a bay leaf, allspice, juniper berries and cloves. And I am adding also those to the marinade. The last thing what I'm gonna add is the onion as well as carrots. And then I'm bringing the marinade to boil and boil it for around five minutes. At last I take the pot and I cover the meat with a cold marinade. Just need to make sure that the meat is covered with a marinade completely. In this case I needed to add some more wine to it. To this I covered the pot with a lid and put it in the fridge. For the piece of meat to marinate properly you also need to turn it upside down every day. I marinated this meat for four days. After this time I took the meat from the marinade and then I made sure that I tapped it dry completely. Then I rubbed some salt and pepper all over the meat. From the marinade we're gonna prepare the sauce and um, therefore I separated uh, the uh, wine and vinegar mixture from the spices and vegetables. And now I was ready to start cooking. Then I took a large pot where I fried the meat from every side. It is very important for the aroma of the meat. And look how beautifully brown it got. As soon as I was ready with the frying, I took the meat out and then I added the vegetables from the marinade. I did fry those for several minutes. Then I put the meat back uh, into the pot and I cover it with a marinade, so the vinegar and wine mixture. This amount of marinade on the screen is just perfect. And now it's my favorite part of making the roast, braising, because I don't have to do anything, I just let it there simmering. I braised this beef for one hour and a half. If you make a bigger roast, which you probably will do, I recommend braising for at least two hours. And once after 45 minutes, I turned the beef upside down. So after one and a half hour, the piece of beef was perfectly tender and juicy. Now, one of the most important things is to make the sauce. And um, then I separated the marinade and the vegetables. At this point, we're not gonna need them anymore. We really like having a lot of gravy with our meats and therefore I took the whole marinade, which was crazy. I really should have taken half of it and then add some beef fond, but well, I'm gonna know for the next time. I season it with salt, pepper, also thicken it and treat it with a whisk uh, to make sure that there are no lumps. Traditionally, this sour roast is made with sour cream. To incorporate it, I took a bit of the boiling gravy 
added some sour cream and then I put it back uh, to the gravy. This is actually how my grandmother always did it. It really works fine for me. In Baden, traditionally, the gravy stays sour, so they don't add anything sweet, no ginger snaps, anything like that. But if I'm honest, I couldn't eat the sauce like that. And therefore we have added some lingonberries and served it with an apple sauce on the side. In Baden, they serve the sour roast with a band nudeln, uh, which are a pasta that is made with egg, very similar to tagliatelle, and also the apple sauce on the side, as simple as that. The next sour roast is one of the most popular roasts here in Germany, and it comes from Rheinland. To make this one, I use the shoulder part of the beef, which I covered first with a vinegar, and I used actually the same amount of a vinegar and wine in this one. Then I added red wine. In this case, I didn't cook actually the marinade, I just added cold as it was. The seasoning for this sour roast is very similar, they just don't add the cloves. And from veggies, I also used onions and carrots. I also did turn this piece of meat upside down every day. I did marinate the sour roast also for four days. After this time, it's actually pretty similar to make. So I took the meat out and then I tapped it dry. I have also seasoned it with salt and pepper, separated the veggies from the marinade and also fried it from every side. Then I took the meat out and fried the vegetables. For this one I used larger pot and therefore I needed to add some beef broth. This step also very probably made the marinade a little bit less sour. Then I brought the whole thing to boil, cover it with a lid and then simmer it also for one and a half hours. The sour roast from Ryland is very particular because it's made with raisins and also gingerbread that comes from Aachen. I use the Kräuter Printen. Although next time I'm gonna take the regular variation of the gingerbread because this variation had way too much of star anise. But anyway, to prepare this sauce, I separated the marinade and the vegetables. Then I added a good amount of the gingerbread to the gravy and cooked it until it dissolved completely. To make the sauce sweeter in Rheinland, they used beet syrup and also some raisins. I think this sauce was much better than the other one. When it's about cooking, you just learn by doing. This sour roast was also extremely tender. And as you can remember, I used a different way of marinating the meat because I used the cold marinade. I had a feeling that this sour roast was less uh, sour than the other one. It's probably because the marinade was cold. And this is how beautiful it looked on the plate. The gravy had amazing brown color. You can also see uh, the wonderful raisins. What the feast that was. The sour roast from Ryland is served traditionally with a red cabbage. In Germany, the red cabbage is also on the sweeter side because it contains apples. And as a second side, there are usually the German potato dumplings. Look how lovely this looks like. I really did very well. Oh, and look at those raisins. Deliciousness. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this video. I know that many of you also um, make a sour roast. Please let me know in the comments down below uh, which one you make and which one is your favorite one. And of course, you are also very welcome to share some sour roast cooking tips. The next sour roast that I will be cooking, it will probably be the Franconian one. So I'm actually very curious how that's gonna turn out. I wish you, as always, a lovely week, stay safe and healthy, and I will see you on my next one. Bye!